When you see what has happened to the financial industry, you would be amazed. You would be shocked at the levels that they have sunk to. The corporations are failing from Italy to Germany to China and anywhere else that you can think of. Globally, the investment institutions have gone way too far knowing that they will simply be bailed out when needed. This is an unsustainable model that will reawaken in the next financial crisis. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we are going to look at the absolute insane plans of Germany to fix Deutsche Bank. Now, you've got this company here that has been suffering. I've been covering it for you. I've been showing you how it's hitting new lows seemingly every week. And Germany has created a plan and they're working on it now in order to rescue it. So you'd probably think to yourself, well, what can they possibly do? So we'll get into that today. I'm going to show you charts. I'm going to show you articles and we're going to break it all down. Beginning by taking a look at Deutsche Bank stock. You can see the chart on the right hand side. That's the year to date chart constantly following further and further into a bear market the market cap is at approximately 16 billion the stock itself is under eight now this shows us that it only gets worse as time goes on right that's what's happening sure in the short term they think that there will be some sort of rescue so the stock has climbed from its lows but not too far you can see that this has been not the case of just a week or two or three months or a year even the problems go further back than that so that's this one bank Deutsche Bank you're looking at this being so massive because of the derivatives that they hold on their books so what have they got to do well you know first of all they aren't the only bank that's suffering today it goes further than that Commerce Bank is also exhibiting the same patterns the same deflationary tail that we are seeing with Deutsche Bank year to date that's the chart on the right hand side falling further and further into a bear market as well the market cap is at about a billion the stock is at about 6.6 .6, and you're looking at this being the exact same pattern and you can go even further out than that and I'll show you just a second here but what we're looking at is the case of all of these financial institutions rotting from the inside out and what exactly is the solution well you should probably get rid of all the supposed bad debt on your books you should clean up house you you should be able to write off what you need to you should be able to eliminate employees from certain areas that are no longer needed you should sell off certain parts of the company that are no longer required you should tighten your belts you should figure out a way to increase profits and so on that would probably make sense usually what these companies like do they try to make sure everything starts to run better you can have newfound confidence in the company because of all these actions that they're doing and so on that's typically what we would see but in Germany things appear to be very different they like to do things very different apparently because can you believe it this is what they're providing to us Germany intensifies plans to fix Deutsche Bank with a merger they want to merge this company in order to fix it they are creating a monster the German government is intensifying efforts to help fix Deutsche Bank with officials studying ways to make it easier to merge with Commerce Bank so what do you do? You take one failing institution and you combine it with another failing institution and that's somehow going to solve the problem? No, it only makes it worse. It magnifies the underlying issues. The high level discussions have included the finance minister and the CEO of Deutsche Bank. They're looking at concrete ways that the government can assist in a potential combination of the country's two largest lenders. You're taking the two biggest companies here in Germany, the financial companies, companies and you're putting them together to create a company that is going from too big to fail to be even too bigger to fail it's crazy it's ridiculous and I am looking at this thinking to myself what is going on in the minds of these people who are involved that doesn't ever resolve anything and they're also looking at finding ways to change the laws so that these mergers are less costly there's more details in this article here I want to show you some charts as well let's go into it further discussions of a tie-up of two banks with large overlapping businesses signal dwindling hope that Deutsche Bank will be able to break out of a vicious circle of declining revenues and sticky expenses the stock has dropped more than 50 
50% this year and broken through multiple record lows on the way down while funding costs have continued to rise. This is what I've been bringing to you, of course, over this year, just showing you constantly record low, record low, record low. And now it's a little bit higher than where its lowest point was, but we've seen this happen before. And then scandal after scandal, it gets pushed down further. What the people basically need to see is that the government is going to bail them out. And that's pretty much what they're waiting for here. This merger, maybe the government will have its hand in it and will backstop any losses. Who knows? But all I know is that the derivatives that they hold is one company is bigger than what Germany could actually salvage. So there's no possible way that they can physically do this. I'd like to see what they're going to do. It really will amaze me to see the kind of insanity that they have been creating specifically related to Deutsche Bank. And to make matters worse, the lender is considering becoming a holding company to make a potential merger easier. One obstacle is that it could trigger a significant tax burden because of the company might need to revalue assets and it goes on. All right, so they're talking about all of this, trying to change the laws in order to make this happen. All I know is that this company is a disaster and they're combining it with another failing institution, only exacerbating the underlying issues. And I'm really worried about this, not just for Germany, but for the entire financial system. It is going down. It is going down right now. And this is only going to make matters worse. It's extremely dangerous. And I think that this decision is reckless. A merger between the two is, quote, not possible at this stage as both banks still need to clean their balance sheets. By the way, this is from a few months ago, this article here. But going forward, the deal may be one of the only ways to save Deutsche Bank. That's what they're talking about. Even the analysts are going forward with this type of mentality that, you know what, whatever the government says is right. And it's so unbelievably foolish. And I can't believe that we're here today. I've been talking about this the entire time, saying derivatives are extremely dangerous. Deutsche Bank is holding on to a sheer vast sum of them. And what are they going to do to salvage this company? And they come out with this. This is the idea that they're deciding on. I can't believe it. I mean, they haven't actually done it yet. They haven't gone through, but they're talking about it. The CEO is meeting with the finance minister. This is happening. We're going to see what, what an absolute disaster waiting to happen. We're going to cover it. That's for sure. And I want you to keep your eyes on it. If I don't cover it, I mean, this came out a few days ago, didn't have time yet, but this is what we're looking at right now today. Basically at the bottom, it just talks about both of these banks not making their profits. They're trying to increase their profitability. They want more things to happen in the future but that's what all companies say. It's a complete bunch of garbage that we're looking at. Now, in this article, I had a few charts. Just wanted to give you an idea. They're telling, of course, a picture is worth a thousand words, as they say, below average. Deutsche Bank and Commerce Bank, PB ratios trail the European average. Price to book ratios are just one way to value a company. And you could see that here, not looking good, even in relation to Europe. Okay, so obviously we know that Europe has problems. Since the sovereign debt crisis, nothing has been resolved for the most part. And you're looking at this still being a problem for these two corporations. This right here, Deutsche Bank spends almost a full euro to produce one euro of income. That tells us that this company is not very profitable at all. And I'm sure they're covering up a lot of their garbage as well. Deutsche Bank is the blue. Commerce Bank is in the middle and the European median over here on the other side, on the right side. And that shows us the weakness with these two in particular versus the average. So they're not even at the average. They're much, much worse. Lack of profit. The two German banks hardly eke out profits, especially compared with EU rivals. So that shows us that Deutsche Bank is in the negative return on equity. Commerce Bank is just barely into the positive, And the European average looks like approximately six. That doesn't end well historically. That's the way we're looking at this today. When you cover it from all angles, their solutions to be provided are absolute insanity. And I think I've ranted on about enough about that. I just wanted to show you right now. I didn't show you some of these charts today simply because I just did a video, whatever, maybe a one or two days ago. And you could see it here. Global banks at massive risk of systemic failure as stocks down more than 20%. If you didn't see that, please check it 
it out. It's uh, just a few videos ago. I do so many that I lose track. Uh, sadly, the video only has about 12,000 views in the last, uh, whatever, 24 hours, 36 hours, whatever it is. And um, it should have more because this is really showing us as it happens, I'm breaking down everything and more people need to know about this. So anyway, I just covered all of the financial companies. I showed you, for example, the stock 600 European banks. You could look at this over the course of the last several years, as well as in the last few trading sessions, I showed you charts. I showed you the S&P financials, the S&P banks. All of these are in a bear market right now. All of them. Look globally, you've got big problems in the financial industry, whether we're looking at your typical commercial bank that you get a loan from or the massive investment institutions, whether you're looking at the hedge funds, hedge funds are closing down, not as many are reopening. You're looking at this being a widespread issue right now going on all around the world. And why? Because of the central bank quantitative tightening policy, trying to fix the quantitative easing policy that brought the problems in the first place. So that's all for this video. If you found it informative, please give me a thumbs up. When you give me a thumbs up, you are supporting this channel. It's very easy. Just click that button. You're going to support me. I really do appreciate it. If you comment on the video that also supports the channel, just say, if you don't know what to say, you can put in Deutsche Bank, you can put in Germany, you could put in bank, you could put in finance, anything related would also help. But anything you want to write there, of course, is wonderful. And last but not least, if you want the financial education you were not taught in school, these two books have it all. You can get everything you need to know from A to Z, literally. You get the foundation. It breaks everything down, everything you need to know. Check them out. Link in the description. If you're more interested in the audiobook, you can get that at themoneygps.com. And lastly, if you want the podcast, it's on iTunes Podcasts. You can check it out there. Take care.